Hi there. My name is Chelsea Kinsella and today I thought I would talk to you about a little how-to video but not how to um, directly fix something with your horse but more with you and what you're doing with your horse. So I have a client horsey here and she's been with me for uh, three weeks or a month-ish. Um, she doesn't have the full 30 days on her, it's kind of hit or miss currently. However, um, so what I'd like to talk to you about is what you're doing with your horse when you're not paying attention, like when you're not actively working with your horse, what are you doing? So it takes some muscle memory, but your horse is always paying attention to you and what you're doing when you're releasing and when you're not releasing, what you're releasing to. Even when you're off, like her, she's paying attention to me right now, even though I don't really, I'm not really paying attention to her. I can see her in the video and that's how I'm going to watch because she's a particular type of horse that if I release, when she's not paying attention or if she's hard on this lead and I release, she will take that, like there, I'm gonna bring her back and just let her go. So something to be very aware of, like if you're at your rail races or something and you're standing there chatting to your friends, where is your horse resting? Is your horse resting with his friends? Or where is your horse working? But then also like while you're standing there with your friends or doing whatever it is that you're doing when you're not actively paying attention to your horse, what is your body language doing? Are you letting go when you're not supposed to be letting go? Because all those little things, they really do add up to a lot of big, like a lot of a big thing in the end. Like it'll not make your horse as soft. Like there, she's backing up. I'm gonna bring her up here a little bit and let go when she's a little bit soft there. Or if she was to rush in or crowd or something or whatever she's doing, while I'm standing here, I'm going to fix that and then leave her alone. So a good way that I also work with that is I have a fairly long shank on here right now so that I'm not constantly holding her and then releasing that pressure when I don't want it to be released. So she has this long shank and she's able to be responsible for that shank and the pressure and whatever. So just something to think about and always be aware that even when you're not aware, your horse is aware of what you're doing. You're always training your horse, whether it's good or bad. And sometimes those little bad things that you just do maybe one time can be maybe 40 times that you didn't notice or 50 times and add up and take away from all the good stuff you're doing. So just something to be aware of and I hope that helps and I'll talk to you soon. What do you think?